Hi, welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for January 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th, Monday through Thursday. And I'm Debbie. Now, when I am doing the week readings, Monday through Thursday, um, I will be using my Radley Valentine decks. I use my Archangel Power Tarot cards and my Guardian Angel Tarot cards. I will also use my, should put my glasses on, I, my Francis Monroe, Francis Monroe, an artwork by Judy Mastrangelo, The Inspirational Wisdom from Angels and Fairies, and I'll pull one from our Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, this is just the introduction, so if you're on here, you're going to say, why is this all for everybody? No, no, no. This is just the introduction. It is tagged on to all of the readings. If you want to just go straight to your reading, then I will have posted down here, down here in the description, the timestamp. So if you cross watch or just want to get to it, just jump. Okay. Now, anyway, for this, the introduction, I will use my weight rider, my um, tarot, traditional tarot cards, and I will use my Colette Baron Reed, The Good Tarot. I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? The one thing we want to go through is I've told you that on the 12th, uh, Mars has gone direct. Um, on the 18th, 19th, Mercury goes direct. We go into Aquarius on the 20th, New Moon on the 21st, and then we also have Uranus going direct on the 22nd, 23rd. So there's a lot of strong energy. The and I know a lot, there is times that you know all the planets are direct, but Mars has not gone retro. It, it goes retro like every 26 months. So now it is going direct. It is getting back to some business. And I have just been feeling the energy is extremely, extremely strong. So hopefully, you know, this is a good uh, good thing going on. Um, the one thing, too, I have talked about in prior introductions, The in March we have Pluto going into Aquarius. So just think of it. I have been talking for the last two years about Saturn and Aquarius. Saturn transitions out, goes to Pisces. And then it's, uh, and remember, Saturn in, in Aquarius has been illusion versus reality, truth versus lies. But now Pluto going into Aquarius. So just as Saturn exits Aquarius, Pluto goes into Aquarius. And these are both thinking energies, you know, air energy, like, um, like Gemini and Libra. Thought processes. This is the sword energy. Thinking things through, making some plans. We are in this transition of the, you know, age of Aquarius also. So just as Saturn was messing with us and, and kind of get saying, hey, come on, come on. Let's, let's see things. Let's see things for what they are. Pluto is the planet of destruction and rebirth. So now, our thoughts could go into, it could go into a deeper um, place, and it could be a very, um, it's going to be a very interesting time. The good part about it, if you think about the last time that Aquarius was in, um, I mean, I'm sorry, Pluto was in Aquarius, that was post-revolutionary war. So it was a time of rebuilding, rethinking. It was when, um, you know, many of the, Founding fathers created documents, so it was a very it was a very intellectual energy. So let's see, let's see what we have going on though. What we want to know is our here and now. We and no matter what is going on in the world, we live our present. We need to stay in our present. We need to live our lives. Okay, so <laughs> let's see what we've got here. Okay, hi, your power. What do you have? What do you want to say? What do you want to say to? our audience, to your subscribers, to your viewers. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Okay, remember, I'm an, if I haven't said it, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to God, source, higher power, and just let the message come through. Okay. Remember, anything reversed has a little stronger energies. That's how I read them. Okay, here we are. Okay, first card. 
judgment. Interesting, interesting, judgment. So we have a 20, we have a two, zero. Numbers do have a lot of meaning. So you have to take that into consideration. Good, good quick, um, you know, if you ever come across some triple numbers and you're seeing synchronicities, you can always look them up in a search engine. Just go to the search engine and of your choice, type in your number. Sometimes put, you know, angel numbers and it'll give you some more information. But 20, so we have a two. Two is about choices. It's decisions. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? Crossroads. It's also about partnering. Zero is God's source energy here. This is Major Arcana. Major Arcana is basically a, what is it, a 22 card deck, which is from zero when the fool starts to 21 when it comes to the world. It culminates, the fool's journey culminates in the world where it's like, yes, I've done everything I need. The judgment is a review. The judgment is where we look at things and say, what, what could we have done better? What could we have done um, you know, differently? But also, it also gives us a chance to look at ourselves and to do some forgiveness of ourselves. So the judgment um, does have a lot of evaluation energy. It has a lot of reevaluation energy. And then once we, once we really are honest with ourselves, we move on. So, judgment. Next card is, now we have that Wheel of Fortune. Again, it's a major arcana. So we have a 10, one new beginning, zero again, God source energy. So we actually have, you know, 10, 10, 10. So that's in itself is kind of interesting. So zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. Or sometimes people drop the uh, zero and we have one, one, one. Okay. Wheel of Fortune is movement. It's like things have been stuck. Tens are transitional energy, and the Wheel of Fortune is like, okay, you, you, things are stuck. You've, you've come through your journey. The Fool has come up through the, you know, the nine steps, and now it's time for the next steps. Now it's time for more to come. There is, the, um, you know, there is a balancing of the energies, and it, generally when the Wheel of Fortune does pop, it's like these things have to happen. This, this is, there's, it's, no, it's not negotiable anymore. It has to move forward. It generally does have a pretty decent, if not positive, um, energy as you go forward. Next card is, we have the Four of Pentacles. Now, Pentacles is our Earth energy. This is part of the Minor Arcana. This is a Four. This is stabiliz the four is stabilization, leadership, organization. Uh, pentacles again, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Remember Mercury, what did I say was that going to be the 18th um, or the 19th was going direct. So, um, you know, and it was going direct in Capricorn. So it's money, job, career energy. The interesting thing, generally with the, um, with the four of pentacles, it is one of these times where I say, watch your money, look at your money. Um, there's also, um, you know, you can see he's guarding his money. Money is on his mind, on his thoughts. He's grounded in money. So there could be a stability coming with the money situation. At the same time, the Four of Pentacles does do a reciprocity. And money is energy. So it could even be, you know, whenever you hear the word money, you could even, uh, you know, put in energy. So watch your energies. Your energy is on your mind. You're guarding your energies. You're grounded in your energies. But again, reciprocity, give, take. There's, there's something, maybe a stability coming with the money situation too. So interesting with the, all of that. Let's, I mean, and the major arcana is very, very big, very universal. This is more the individual energies. That's what the minor, um, minor arcana is kind of like your day-to-day -day lesson. So let's see. Colette Baron Reed, let's see what else we might have. What do you have? Okay, and a card has jumped out. And it is on the floor, so, so hold on a second. We have another major arcana, okay? And this is a 12, so we have a 1 again, 0, 1, 0, plus a 2. So we've talked about the 1 and the 2s. And so you add the one and two up, it becomes a three, and that is celebration, it's creation, it's also the power of three. The hanged man is stay still, basically chill. There is a different way of looking at things. 
you know, not necessarily the way you always look at it. You know, it's not necessarily straight in your face. So as things are changing, as things are moving on, it's kind of like there has to be a change in the mindset also. The hanged man is generally a new perspective, a different perspective, you know, again, to um, just... It's just one of those times where you have to look at things a little differently. So we have ma three major arcanas, which is um, pretty, pretty uh, big. We have, like I said, our pentacle energy. I talked a little bit about the sword energy, which is air, which is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, money, um, thinking things through, making plans, hearing news. Then we have our fire energy, which is rods. Um, that is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Remember, Jupiter is in Aries, so there is a lot of strength in that. Fiery, passionate, um, make you know, just really all-in type of energy. And then we have our Cups energy, which is our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We just had that Cancer new moon, so there was some big energies all around it. So, the, the you know, again, I'm feeling a lot of energy, a lot of change. Um, you know, I just... Just, I just feel this sense, you know, be prepared for whatever, um, you know, remember Uranus is, you know, when Uranus is going direct or when it's changing direction, and it does this, you know, it goes uh, direct and it goes retro, you know, once a year. It's like six months on, six months off. Well, not quite, but you know what I'm saying. So, but whenever it's slowing down to make a switch, it's again, these are called stationary um, directs. You know, Mars is just coming out of stationary direct. Uh, Mercury is going into stationary direct. And then Uranus will be going into stationary direct. And it's just all of this is energy that's kind of like these planets appear to have slowed down. And they're just watching. And they're really paying attention or they're really putting their energies out right now. So Uranus is that expect the unexpected. So I do feel like this is a time we need to evaluate, reevaluate. Things are moving forward. Watch the money. Um, a different, um, a different perspective is needed. So, you know, we will see what we will see. Anyway, anyway, if you just watched the introduction, then you know. Oh, please do the like, share, subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. It really helps, and I thank you ever so much for everyone doing that. But as always. We will tag on the rest, you know, the rest of the videos. But as always, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye. Hello, my Aries. I just feel a lot of activity coming up. A lot of action energy around you here, too. You know, maybe because of Mars and all the other stuff going on. Oh, my goodness. It feels like, I feel like your world is about to spin or turn itself around. Let's put it that way. Not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. Don't think of it as a bad, like, like, oh my goodness, what else is coming up? Not that way at all. I just feel that it's, things are to get, things are getting busier for you. So let's see, let's see. Higher power. What do you want to tell our Aries coming up for January 16th through the 19th? What do we have happening here? Oh, yes, yes. I want you to also check, I don't know who this is for, but check your purses, your pockets, your, um, check the hidden spots where you might have stashed a couple of bucks or something like that. I feel like you need to check, maybe clean your car, or maybe do, you know, I just kind of feel like you, you put some money away and it's like, oh, I forgot all about that. So check your hidden spots, okay? Okay, whoever that's for. Okay, first card is the Page of a Raphael. Page is energy, interesting energy. A lot of times it is the, well, it is the earth energy that's underneath. It is your Capricorn, your Taurus, and your Virgo. And remember, Capricorn and Taurus have stuff happening to it. It also has our Virgo. It's money, job, career. It is our home life. I don't know. This is, I don't know, somebody, um, this is a romantic energy, and it does affect your job. It does affect your home life, but it's a romantic energy. It's a loving energy. It's a very, like, Oh my gosh, I'm on my I'm on the right path to where I need to go. Life is getting happier. Life is feeling better. This could be a new person coming into your life or taking your you know your your relationship to that next step. It, it's something that's just very heartwarming, very heart fulfilling. It's kind I kind of get, you know, if we get the wish card in here at all, it would be like your wishes come true. It's something it's a matter of the heart. 
There's a very strong matter of the heart that does affect your work, job, career, maybe even your home energy here. It's loving, it's caring, it's you being loved and others loving you. I mean, it's you being, it's you loving and others loving you back. It's a just a wonderful energy. It's one of those energies that just, um, you know, not always, it, and it's not always comfortable for my Aries. It's not always something that you want to feel. But there's just this caring energy that's being um, being sent your way, or maybe you're sending it to someone's way. So it's gentle, loving, dreamy, open-hearted. A new emotional situation. Messages regarding relationships or social invitations. Great intuitive insights. Trust your insights. Trust your um, trust your gut with a lot of things this coming week. And just, you know, it's, it's just, a, and it's kind of a supernatural connection here with it too. But it's very loving, it's very caring, it's a very connected um, energy, I you know, don't know, with the higher power, with another. It's like things like hopes and wishes. I kind of get this hopes and wishes um, are coming true. Hopes and wishes, there's a sense of, of, again, sense of hope and wishes coming true. Okay, next card here the page of Ariel. So we have these two pages. Pa again, pages, underlying energy is um, Ariel energy, pentacle energy. This is Ariel, pentacle energy. So maybe, I don't know, this is like a new job, a new career, a new outlook, a new opportunity happening, because this is earth, earth energy. This and pages, pages are, you know, very, um, I love pages because they're enthusiastic. They just jump in. They're like, yes, let's do this. So there is a sense, even though it's not a fire energy, there is a sense of an excitement with this. There's this like, oh my gosh, I, is this really happening? Is this really happening energy here for you? But again, this is your work, your job. Your, it's a new career opportunity. Something, you know, again, wishes and hopes. This is, you know, this is a sense of anticipation. This is like something that you've been waiting for, something you've been wanting actually coming about, actually unfolding in front of you. Anyway, Page of Ariel is reliable, clever, educated, and balanced. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you, scholarships, or the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. Okay, I do feel like, I still feel that, like your world is going to be turned upside down, but it's going to be, it feels like it's going to be turned upside down in a very positive way, in a very positive way. A lot of work, you know, you're not just going to be able, it, it's a lot of work for you, my Aries, but there's so much potential here, so much potential. Your last card here is the King of Michael. Now, the King of Michael's been popping up a couple of times. Um... And I've been getting different readings for him all along. So the king's energy itself has dual energy. And that is the underlying is swords. Michael is also swords. So this is air energy. This is your Aquarius. This is your Gemini, your um, Libra. So it's your thought processes, thinking things through, of course. It's hearing news. So you could be hearing news about something like this. There, you know, there could be something assisting you. There's something that's helping you to get into this new place, this new start. But the King of Michael is also very linear in his thoughts. He's looking towards that future. He has, you know, he's he's supposed to have been one of the. He's supposed to be the oldest court card or the oldest card in the um, the minor arcana. Um, you know, he's been, you know, he's been around the longest, so he really knows what he's going after. He, and he's really making his plans. The page is something that's, like I said, the page, you could be here, and again, pages are messengers. You could be hearing news about that opportunity, but it's something, again, it's the heart's desire. Your heart's desire. I'm really getting a heart's desire with this part, this page of Raphael. New beginning, and then the king brings you brings you to, it's almost like you can see that future unraveling, or not unraveling, unrolling for you. It's like, you know, it's like, yes, this is my first, and then I'll do this, and then I'll do that. Very linear, very objective, but yet very prepared, and it's not, this, the king of Michael is going where he knows he needs to go. So something's happening this week for you. Principled, rational, ambitious, and respected. Wisdom and objectivity are important now, Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communications. Now, you know, the King of Michael 
isn't all touchy feely. So it's not necessarily. So you know, he's very rational. He's very. This is where I'm going. This is what I want to do. So the touchy feeliness of the page of Raphael may not necessarily feel comfortable. But I feel like this is a you know, and it's. I don't feel like this is an opposite though. I feel like this all blends together. If you have Scorpio in you, I had something. You know, if you have Scorpio in your. Um, in your chart, you might want to cross watch that because I had kind of an, um, a Raphael energy versus the King of Michael energy. So you may want to watch, but I don't feel that. I feel like everything, it's like it's a natural progression. It's like this has to happen. This has to be. Okay. So let's see what we have. But Guardian Angels, Guardian Angels, what do you have here? What do you have for our Aries? It's, I mean, all court cards, no number cards. Um, very high level energies for you, though it's not major arcana, um, but it is very high. It's like, you know, your energies, it's, 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 there's a lot of, um, it's like this has to be, this has to be, you have to move on to this next step. So if you've been waiting for a, if you've been waiting for a promotion, that would be coming. If you've been waiting for that heart's desire energy, something, something that you've been wanting and waiting for, those pages have been waiting, they've been waiting. And the king... A Michael, maybe this is even somebody that helps to um, open that door for you. And then once you do, it it works it works really well. Okay, but stay in your integrity. Stay in your integrity. Okay. Some of the readings have been very confusing to me, but I hope that they make sense to you. Okay, Guardian Angels, what do you have for my Aries here? What do you have for my Aries? Yeah, these pages bring about so many possibilities. The eight of thought. Now, eight is unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. Thought is the air energy, is our um, sword energy. So this is kind of like breaking free and feeling, you know, like feeling trapped. And now things are starting to open. You have more, you have more control and options than you really think you have. Okay, you may feel as though you're restricted by the circumstances you find yourself in. But that's just an illusion. Make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that's making you unhappy. Don't wait for someone to come to, res to the rescue when you can free yourself. Hmm, what does that all mean? A little confusing for me, except these pages have so much hope and optimism. And, you know, in that page of Raphael, like I say, I keep getting this um, heart's Heart's desire, heart's content, heart, what you've been really been wanting. You know, this is, this opens that door and the king, it will help you walk through. So part of the aid of, of thought is it's all, you know, is that the only one that's stopping you could be you. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Infinite wisdom from the angels and fairies for my Aries. What do we have for my Aries? What do we have for our Aries here? What is it? All right, here we are. Okay. The Fairy of the Mystic Forest. You have the power and aptitude to make your dreams come true. All you need now is commitment to make it happen. Hmm. All right, let's see. Okay, you have the aptitude, you have the power. Dreams come true. Again, that page, I keep going, that, pe that page of Raphael, there's this, uh, you know, there's this just lovely, wonderful possibilities, like all, po all things are possible for you, my Aries. Part of, part of it is we, you know, we keep ourselves from the possibilities. Sometimes it's afraid to step through those doors. Sometimes it's afraid we'll look silly. But then the fairy of the mystic forest comes around and says, you have the power and aptitude. So don't think, you know, when, when things seem too big, uh, take, them all, take little bites, okay? You don't have to take it all. But you do, it's always good to, to start. Okay. First, let's see. Emerald. Unconditional love, beauty, recovery, healing, past lives. So my Aries, 
interesting energies there. I mean, I like them. I like them. I love the pages. I really enjoy the pages. The King of Michael, you know, sometimes the King of Michael gets too focused on, um, on what he thinks is the probabilities, and he doesn't look at the possibilities. And yet the pages are like, oh, anything is possible. So you tell me. You tell me what this means or what this might have meant to you. Anyway, my Aries. Also, take a moment to like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell for notifications. You help me with that, so thank you. As always, though, my Aries, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.